718-324-5465. We're live on the air with Brad Bernstein from the law office of Spy and Bernstein, 225 Broadway. Immigration Link, you're live. Hello? Yes. Hi, um, I have a question. My boyfriend has been here for like eight years. He has his green card, but he wants to apply for his citizenship. But the problem is, um, like, he wasn't paying tax for like two years. So, Why didn't, it, well, let me ask you this question. Why did he not pay taxes for two years? Well, he was going to school for a while, but then I don't know what happened. Well, let me ask you a question. Did he work over that two-year period? Yes. Okay. If he worked and didn't pay taxes, he is going to be denied his citizenship. So let him file late tax returns. Um, this February is going to be like a year since he's been paying back his taxes. So he's filed all the late taxes? Uh, I has he filed it to, has he filed, the point is this, has mm -hmm. he, ha, in order to become a citizen, you have mm -hmm. to file a tax return for every year you were employed, okay? If okay. you file your tax return late, it's better than not filing your tax return at all, and the way the immigration service looks at it is, even if you can't pay all the taxes at once, as mm -hmm. long as you have entered into a payment plan with the IRS and you are making your payments pursuant to that payment plan and you bring proof of that, that's mm -hmm. sufficient. that is sufficient enough to become a citizen. Okay? They cannot deny your citizenship because you are too poor to pay your taxes. What they okay. can deny your citizenship for is your failure to file tax returns and even make an attempt to pay your taxes. So there's going to be a problem then. Isn't there anything you could do? I just told him what to do. I just said, pay, file a tax return for every year in which he was employed, enter into a payment plan with the IRS that he can do that payment plan, and the, IRA, and the immigration service cannot deny your citizenship for being too poor to file your tax returns. What they can deny your citizenship for is failing to pay a tax return or making any attempt to pay your taxes. Okay. Um, did you understand so, now? So there is a solution. Did you understand the solution? Did you get it? Yes, that, yes. That okay, and then and then let and then what and what I would suggest you do is have you and your boyfriend come in, and and we'll be happy to help you both. Um. So you don't think we should get married right now, then, right? We never discussed marriage. What we discussed was him filing tax yes, returns. I yes, think I yes I I think you should get married right away, and I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. Okay, because. Uh, if he, he's got it when you're married and you go get your green card and your marriage is more than two years you mm -hmm. you're you're going through the system once you're getting your permanent green card and you're done okay, okay. so okay. so you should be marrying him as soon as possible because who knows you know it'll take six nine twelve months for him to become a citizen and then he files for you and it's probably if you marry him now it's probably mm -hmm. likely that you will get an interview for your green card in approximately two years and if mm -hmm. the interview happens after your second year of marriage you're gonna get your permanent card you're not gonna get a two-year conditional card there's a lot mm -hmm. of people who wait to uh, wait till their sp their boyfriends their fiancés their girlfriends become citizens and then <laughs> marry them and you know right. what you're doing and, and they're living together anyway Okay, right. so you know, you know, you know what they're doing. They're just making more, making it harder for themselves because now you have to go through the system twice. You go right. in for the first time for your conditional green card, and then you got to go back two years later for your permanent. So, right. if you have the opportunity to get married, get married, and that way, even if you're not going to be applying for your green card for some bit down the line, at least the clock is ticking, and and mm -hmm. by the time you go for your green card, you've been married for more than two years, and and you're done. You don't have to go right. through it twice. Right. Okay. Now, um, one other thing with taxes and marriage, okay? Sorry? I'm going to give you one other hint with taxes and marriage. If right. you marry him in 2007, mm -hmm. marry him before the end of the year, you and him have to file taxes jointly. Okay. Okay? If you marry him in January, then he'll file his tax returns at the end of this year as a single, and then you'll start filing joint tax returns the following year. Okay. You understand so, that? All he has to do now is like pay off, as you said, right? For the years he wasn't paying tax. Right. And and I, I'm not sure how much you understood. So I would really strongly urge you and your boyfriend to come in and see me. Right. Yes. So, and, that, and that way, and that way, you, that way, you know for sure what you're doing. Okay. All okay. right. Okay. And you call 1-800-LAW-LINK. It's 1-800-529-5465. 529 No. No, 65. 65. 1-800-529-5465. Five four six five. Okay. All right. Got it. All right. 
Yes, All thank right. you so much. Not a problem. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Still inside the immigration link right here on Link Up Radio, we're speaking with Brad Bernstein from the law office of Sparring. Bernstein, and you are live on the air. Yes. Yeah, I, you, lawyer. Yes, go ahead. I have a problem here. Um, I went to Jamaica on the 22nd, and I came back in um, the 29th, and I have a problem at the airport. They keep harassing me, taking me out of the line, and um, checking me out. And um, I question it. Yes, um, on Monday I question it, and I ask him, why is it they always harassing me? And say me and the next person is sharing the same last name, same date of birth, and I have to go live with that. That's the problem why I've been that problem all the time. What can I do? Uh to well, solve that. They have they have some negative information about you in 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 the uh, com- in the entry and exit computers from the immigration service. So what one of the things you can do, and you're not going to be able to do it on your own, is but you can come in and hire an attorney, myself or somebody else, whoever you choose. As always, I strongly urge you to hire me, but you can hire whoever you want. Right, right. Um, and and what what the lawyer will do for you is petition the uh, Department of Homeland Security, specifically the Immigration and Customs Enforcement, to take out any negative information in the computer that they may have on you because that information is incorrect. No, but now there's no now there's no gu- there's no guarantee that that would happen. But in other words, you you want you want cause they have so, they have a flag on you. Okay, on your name. So you want you want to make sure that in the future that that doesn't that flag is off your name that you're not the same guy they're looking for, because okay. they have some they have some negative information about you in the computer, which is the negative information is maybe you're this other guy. Yes, it's on the other guy because when I'm fine, right. say so you got it, you got it right. So we petition we petition the uh, Immigration Customs Enforcement to take that information out of the system, which is. Take this information out that we, that you think that this guy is the other guy because our guy is a good guy and the other guy may be a bad guy, but you're harassing our good guy. Right. Right. Okay. All so right. that's what that's what we do. Okay. So right. make sure you uh, link up with Brad Bernstein. You come in and we'll Brad see Bernstein, what we can do to South help you. Ting, boss. Okay, I'll come and see you. All right. All right. You have the number, okay. right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Start the door okay. for me. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. No problem. Uh, I never. I ne- you haven't used that uh, the uh, the the home the homeland accent in a while. What? You you went into oh, the your, your, yeah you went into so the, thing, the homeland that <laughs> your little homeland language there. Oh all right, <laughs> still practicing right? <laughs> I'm still getting a hand of it, man. You're still getting the hang of it. Yeah, don't have right. it down packed yet. Right, because that that you were born in the United States, right? Yes, so absolutely. that's really a second language for you. Yes, but you it was spoken that. in your house. It was spoken in your house. Yeah, for moms and pops. Moms and pops. Right. Right. And the rest of the family. Right. All right. Anything else? And yes, I'm uh, black. I have three announcements, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> immigration, immigration. <laughs> All right, so yeah, immigration forum, Tuesday, November the 13th. I'm only kidding. Let's take some more. What, no, but still, walk. no, we need to remind yeah. the folks still, okay. you know, don't get me wrong. Robert Street Hotel, New right. Jersey, we're coming over. 50 Park Place, Sparring Bursty will and be you got to call uh, 1-800-LAW-LINK to make sure you can get into the forum and, uh, and make your reservation. <laughs>